They've won a pair of games. They need to keep taking care of business before they run into San Francisco and Hickman, Lobb, E.K. Well, and look for Portland to exploit that a little bit, pulling him to the perimeter and trying to get by. In the win at Kentucky. Robertson straight on. Greg, there's a three, and he got it. Well, you, you, well, he does a great job of creating and getting to the cup, and you know, having him back in the lineup is a huge advantage. Pass to the corner. Hickman's three is off. Long rebound. Nemhard floater. Got it. A lot of different players as well. Masic driving hard and gets it up and in. The other concern for Portland is this. Three-point shooting. Greg hammers home and open again. Feeds EK spinning and scoring. Spits in nearly 16 a game, but in only 23 minutes per. Good work inside, and it's a young group. Robertson is a veteran, and he bangs home his second three. Washington. Hickman, a one-hander. That's sweet. Trailers. Got Watson, and got an offensive foul. And I don't think Robertson is afraid of anything. He's not. I mean, and he has had to play in all five spots. I mean, Jennifer mentioned this that Hickman is playing at a high level and moving, you know, moving up in the, the standings here in this last week. Well, having Tyler Harris back is good. 35 minutes a game. Stromer driving, drops it off. 15 point lead, just under the 10 minute mark. Little turning hook. 18 months. Long three, and Ben Gregg, there's two three-point lines out there, and the deep one is the G League line. He sure does. I mean, you put some strength on that frame, and he's just going to continue to develop. Robertson stumbles into a bucket. <laughs> yes. Young guys are going to be like, where is this coming from? <laughs> Stromer, Huff has the air ball, and turns and scores. He's an absolute. Grew up nearby uh, Vancouver. It's, it's the stuff that's not in a stat sheet that you know that I think he extra possession plays that really gave them hope when Kentucky was on a 12-0 run. That is going to be a technical. Ek was on the rim. I don't think they're going to allow that. One official had a great crew in the truck. And Robertson has a rebound. Triggers it to Austin against Nemhar. Nice fake. No finish. That's a finish. But you see this great transition, Chris Austin with the miss, but Tyler Harris with the dunk coming in this game. And that's a quick transition. We got the switch, Gorosito on EK, see if they take advantage. EK got up and under and in. Austin falling away, and he gets the roll. The shot clock reset to 30. And now. EK has really turned. I, I told him, I said, look, if you play post at Gonzaga, come on, it's not only for the rust of his injury, but to get that through and dang it. Well, you were there for a while, so you count. Greg off balance. Uh, with the, the style of play he will become, it would be fun to see that. Fan base, be kind of fun. In the game with two minutes left in this first half. Gorsita really quick. Kranovich, the rebound. Hickman a three. That's beautiful basketball. It's with four on the clock, drives and scores. Possession there for the Zags. Tough shot of the shot clock winding down. He plays so good with his feet. Now Watson in the other post, falling away. That's good. Watson to me, and it used, this was a term that Dan Fitzgerald and his program. The guys like him. He's got he needs more of that in the second half. They're going to make a run. And more of that. Rob Greg backs in, kicks out. Hickman's long three. Good. Out. And Hickman makes him pay. Don't let him get games this season with three or more makes from beyond the arc, including seven against San Francisco. And he came right down the other side. Coming into the half. But right now, Juan Sebastian or Juanse? Juanse. Yeah, I like that option, just going a little one, two, two. And like you said, Dan, it's all about pace. E.K. Robertson hit the tempo in the last possession. Stromer's open, and he hammers a three home. In out of high school with the reputation of being a really good outside shooter. Harris, that's a terrific move. 
EK was at Wyoming. Maybe he wasn't quite a rotational player yet, but Wong missed it. EK keeps it alive, and Watson finishes. Austin, and a tip is good. ...by the pilots right there to pull it within 12. Nemhard has a lane, has a bucket. Robertson left-handed pass, nicely done. Austin misses a hook. Lucinic cleans it up. Tough backing in. Watson's wide open. That can't happen. EK, for all he does, rebounder, score. He's not a shot blocker. Hickman, oh man, he is smooth. Washington State this year on the men's side, they have absolutely Great competition. And then you look on the men's side, I mean. Robertson, that's a great find there. It was a pick and roll, and he looked. So a 17-point Gonzaga lead. Huff backing in. Missed it. Follow Stromer. Robertson takes that three. Hits it. Austin, nice pass in. And Gucinich was a so uh, let's add together what we had there. Our exit polls <laughs> indicate. Watson, EK, another offensive replay. 16 points, 11 rebounds. Gonzaga, they had number situation and not take advantage of it. Good find to Harris, and that's all Robertson. Production from Ducinich. Mm -hmm. Robertson continues to play well as always. Robertson got hit. Yeah, he took one right to the chin. And he's down. Oh. Written, um, they're probably considering it be total control from Nemhart. Pushing transition, doesn't like it. Seven of the last ten games, he's had 20 plus points. He's knocking on the door of another one. Great pass, too. Nemhart, a terrific all around game. Eight points, seven rebounds, seven assists. EK just keeps on. Portland, they stuck with it for a majority of the game, but you know. Just an all-around effort. They have inside-outside attack, and there's... This, the beautiful thing about this program is they do a, a title game by being a one. Open, but certainly a better team effort play than if you look at some of the stats tonight. I mean, points in the... 33 seconds left. Child center. Long three. Left side. <laughs> yes, they do. Right? I mean, it's, you always got to have a little, yep. a little fun at the end. Absolutely. Shantae Leggins, Mark Few. The Bulldogs did what they came to do. They wanted to take care of business.